Hey guys, Sam checking out Roblox. It's a game where you get to create your own worlds and levels, but today I'm gonna play some pre-made ones. Uh, this one's called Natural Disaster Survival by Stickmaster Luke. Just go up many flights. What's happening? Is it a sandstorm? Oh, yep, that's a sandstorm. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, I see what's happening. Well, not really, but I mean, I've got like a concept. I am dead. I mean, these are a bunch of games that other people have created, but one of the things about Roblox is that you can actually build your own. So I have been working on a world, I call it Hectic World 1. So what I've got here is this sword, and once I equip it, it glows like so. And if I press space while running, I will start to fly. Ah, uh, uh, then I've also got a spaceship. Up mode. Ah, uh, ah, uh. yeah, yeah. Oh man, I can't wait to see how the new video's doing. I still don't see why you had to upload that. Because it's hilarious. Want a soda pop? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Here you go. Hey, why are you wearing that thing? Look over there, it's Bigfoot. What are you talking about? That's not the... Whoa, why? You just got eaten! Check out some of these comments. Epic video. This is the best thing I've ever seen. Genius! They think I'm a genius. No, they don't. They think the video is genius. But I made the video. So therefore, I'm the genius. You know, I didn't think my filmmaking skills were that advanced. You know what? No, I don't. What? I'm gonna be a film director. Look, dude, can I just point out that for most of that video, you weren't even holding a camera? If anybody was the director, it's the desk. Not right now, Jesse. I have a calling, and I need to answer. At least you stayed grounded, desky. <laughs> Sports Friends has got four different local multiplayer games. Today we're checking out Barra Berry Bow. Cut! Okay, guys, how are you doing? Hi, Julia. Hi, Jesse. It was great. You look great. I'm just not feeling the excitement from the game. You know, I need you to internalize that and then give it to me, but in a subtle way, but high energy, super notched. Let's do it again. Keep it going. Um, okay. Um, hey, guys, today we're doing a last... Action! Yep. Okay. Today we're doing a Let's Play on Sports Friends, and um... Cut! Again, guys, that was great, just a sound issue. Jesse, I'm still not smelling what you're cooking. I'm looking for a different energy from you. Think of Steve Buscemi meets The Rock. But those are two completely different types. But you know what I mean, right? And we're just trying to record a Let's Play. I'm just trying to direct it. And we're just trying to stop that from happening. You're right. Maybe my direction doesn't belong on the gaming show. It belongs on a much bigger project. Maybe it's time I realize my dream. Your dog in a wrestling suit. Mm -mm. Oh, making a robot to wrestle your dog. No, my new dream, to direct the greatest movie based on a video game. Today, my friends, I start my cinematic masterpiece, Super Mario Brothers. It's already been done. Like 20 years ago. What? Okay, my cinematic masterpiece, Wing Commander. Also done. Angry Birds. It's in production for 2016. Final Fantasy. Like over 15 years ago. Ratchet and Clank. It's in development. Sonic the Hedgehog. In development. <sighs> Pong! Today, my friends, I start my cinematic masterpiece, Pong, the motion picture. Do you always keep confetti in your pocket for when you make announcements? Doesn't everybody? <laughs> Inspired yet? I guess. I don't know. How about you? I don't know. I've never been inspired before. How's the research going? Are we feeling creative? Are we blossoming? Great, because I really want to capture this. Capture what? Is this going to be in your movie? This is for Pong, behind the scenes. Oh, you mean the movie you haven't made yet? I want to capture the moment when you guys realize you're about to become huge stars. We are? How? By landing a role in my movie. Cool. Who do I get to be? That depends on your audition. You're making us audition for your movie? Yup. We're like the only people that you know. Wait, 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 but what if I blow it? What if I realize that I don't have the chops? What if this is my one chance to achieve my lifelong dream? What, becoming Ian's robot's dog's wrestling coach? No, my brand new lifelong dream. To land a part in this movie. Right. Do you have a script? It's all in here. 
So uh, what's in that binder that says masterpiece? <sighs> Auditions are in 30 seconds on the other side of the garage. That's show business. Ian out. Okay, let's try some physical work. Show me Pong. B Pong. Okay. Here goes Pong. Oh. Very powerful. Very raw stuff you got here. Well, let's add the voice. What voice? It's Pong. Jesse, I can't just see Pong. I have to hear it too. Give Pong a voice. Pong, Pong, Pong. I'm Pong. Hey, I'm Pong. I'm Pong. Hey, I'm Pong. I'm Pong. Can I be honest with you? Yeah, what? I'm getting a lot from in here, but not a whole lot from in here. Well, then I suppose there's only one thing left to do. Go to Hollywood, find a professional voice actress, convince her to train me, master my craft, and come back here to convince you that I am the greatest actor in the world and deserve a role in one of your movies. I'm glad you said it. Hey, Julie, do you want to be a Palm Paddle in my movie? Sure. Show me Pong. You're hired. Outlaw oh, Sound, Hollywood, California. This is the place. Hey, it's Jennifer Hale. You've done voice acting in games like Lego Star Wars and Kingdom Hearts. I guess dreams really do come true. Hey, Jesse, how are you? Good, you? Yeah. I'm great. I'm great. What's going on? Well, I got this part coming up in a movie. The only mm -hmm. issue is I don't know what the character's going to be. Mm -hmm. So I need to cover every possible character voice in the next 10 minutes. <laughs> Can we do it? <laughs> oh, why not? OK, let's start with some basic voices. Okay. Uh, All right. English person. Hello. How are you? Cheerio. French person. Ah, bonjour. Comment ça va? Ça va bien, alors? Je suis un bien champignon. <laughs> uh, Salad. Ah, I get that one a lot. Awesome. Now I gotta get warmed up, so how about we do a little voice range battle? You know, we gotta go from high to low and high to low and change it up in between. Different characters? Different characters. Okay, okay. okay. All right. I'm ready. Just gotta warm up the throat. Uh, that's not your throat, just so you know. What? You first. Hello! Hello, how are you? Good, hello. Hello. Okay, you're just saying hello, 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 hello. That's not true, because see, there's subtle differences. Oh, really? Because now I'm this guy. Uh huh. Now I'm this guy. Uh huh. Now I'm this guy. Yeah, no. Some guy named Jim. I will save you. A red stripe. Hello, 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 hello. Words on a paper. Boom, boom, boom. Words on a paper, 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 boom, boom, boom. Hello. Wow, this is great. No, it's not. I've got a recording session in 20 minutes. Don't worry, I know how to fix this. You do? All we have to do is harmonize the same note. Uh... Voila, it's back. Thanks for everything. Good luck with the session. Thanks, Jesse. Good luck with your... Hey, wait! So while we're on the subject of movies, Ian? Sorry, Julia, just checking some lights. For the shoot, I'll be out here in a sec. Good. Anyways, so I thought we'd bring you a very special contributor piece. An action. Ian, I really can't be in your movie right now. It's OK, Julia. We're just going for something real, some authentic performance. Just keep doing what you're doing. It's going great. Uh, be yourself. Super cash. Anyways, these guys make a ton of movies about video games, so we thought we'd ask them to make a movie about making movies about video games. Stand by on ping pong balls. It's our pals from Risen Visual. Action on ping pong balls. And we got it, cut! Hi there, we're Risen Visual, and we've made more than a few video game inspired films in the past. <laughs> so today, we're going to give you a few tips on the do's and definitely don'ts 
when making your own video game videos. Tip number one. When you're shooting on a budget, get your friends to help out. That way, the only payment they'll want is thanks. Uh, call us anytime, man. Eh? All right, cool. And you guys, too. Like, honestly, fantastic work. If you ever want to help out again, just let us know. Because we can always use the help. Yeah. All right, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Tip number two. When dealing with video game items on set, things can get dangerous. So always be sure to wear the proper safety headgear. Cut, Johnny, cut. Where, where's the energy? Where's where's the gusto? Hey, yeah. hey, with the barrel still full. Oh, I'm trying to explain something here. What? Oh, oh, no. Are you okay? Oh, he's fine. He's good. Good stuff. Tip number three. Just like in gaming, cheat codes can be a great way to speed up the video making process. Just make sure you enter in the right ones. <sighs> Battery's low again, Brayden. Can you turn on the infinite battery cheat? You got it. Uh, it's still saying it's low. Are you sure you turned it on? Oh. Uh... You turned on blockhead mode again. I don't think so. <sighs> Seriously? As you can see, when you're working in a group of three like us, sometimes you're going to have disagreements. So you need to have a calm, fair way to settle your creative differences. Okay, yeah, shot looks great. Uh, do we want that to be blue or green in post? Green, blue. Green. <laughs> Tip number five. Giants can be very helpful on set. But I can't stress this one enough. They can be very, very clumsy. So just keep them away from any valuables. Two, one, action. I like to skateboard. All right, cut, cut. Hey, Giant, you think you can back up the boom poles in the shot? Thanks, man. Well, there you have it. Now you're ready to go out and make your own video about gaming. Just remember, be safe, have fun, and always absolutely be sure to... Terrence, hey, wait till I say cut before you just cut it off. Man. I can't work like this. I mean, he's got to stop him. working with these Minecraft union guys. <laughs> hey, hey, it's Terrence, he's joking. Hey, Terrence, 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 Your actor is here. Who are you supposed to be? Pong Paddle One. And who am I supposed to be? Don't worry about it, Jesse. But keep that energy because they're still apart for you. Okay, that's great, because I've been working on this new character. He's a dinosaur, but he's also, you ready for it? Wait for it. A car salesman. Great, use it. But also, don't ever use it. Here's a script. Let's see what you got. Hawk, what lurks across the chasm? I long to reach it, but low in the distance it approaches. The square ball of destiny with its never-ending beat. Pong. Pong. I felt it. Here. And in here. Congratulations. Pong paddle number two. Yes! 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 Ha! Ha! Yes! Thank you! Yes! Yes! Ha! Ha! Yes! Yes! What a young, promising talent he is. The moment he walked in, I knew there was something there. I just said, you know what? He's got it. And that, I don't even know what it is, but he's got it. Don't you, where'd you go? Pong, the motion picture, a cinematic masterpiece. Scene 38, take 46, and tap. Action. Pong. 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 Joy. Pong. 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 I want to feel anger. Line. Pong. 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 Angst. OK, what are we doing here? OK, Julia, that's a great angst, but this time just say Pong? No, I mean, like, what is this? This is ridiculous. This is the process. Just go with it, Julia. Yeah, the process makes no sense. I can't work like this. That's show business. Yeah, you keep saying that, but I'm not really sure if that's actually what it is. You know what, I'm gonna go to a, can you put that thing down? 
I'm gonna go to a real set and see how scenes are filmed for real. Fine. 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 And in the meantime, you'll be hearing from my agent. You don't even have an agent. Can you be my agent? Good day. <sighs> Such passion. Very difficult to work with. Actors, am I right? Totally, dude. One sec. Take your time. Go for Ian. Hello, yes, uh, I'm calling on behalf of my client, Julia. How you doing? I'm aware that there's some creative difficulties on set. I just want to let you know that I will stop at nothing until my client is happy. Do you understand me? I don't care if your entire production gets shut down. One sec. By the way, I just wanted to thank you again for being such a great director and giving me a role in your film. You know, you're doing a great job. I don't regret it at all. No, you're the one that's out of line. I need to speak to a real director. You are? Julia. Well, David Footman's in the mocap studio if you want. Great, thank you. Great. That's where I need to get to for the scene, okay? So let's roll PCAP, please. And go to T-pose, please. Hold your T's, ready, and action! Not your mother! That's not what Jeffrey told me! And up for a T. And cut it! Print that! Good work, guys. Okay, we got some new scenes for you to look at. Take five. I got pages for you over there, okay? Good work, guys. Julia! Hey! Hey, how's it going? Good, how about you? What are you wearing? It looks a bit like a mocap suit, but not really. Is this not a real mocap suit? Uh, yeah. I mean, we could work with it. What is this place? It's a PCAP volume. Well, what's a PCAP? Uh, PCAP stands for performance capture. That means that we capture face, body, and voice all at the same time. So all of these cameras create what we call the volume. Every one of these markers, as you move in time and space, it measures how it moves. So then I take that movement and I can apply it to anything. So it could be like a snake. A human. Oh, right. Like some kind of a dangerous snake? Yeah, no, that'll work. Actually, I've never seen a standing snake like that. I could be a bunny. Oh, yeah. I could be um, a giant. Oh, very good, yeah. I no, could that's... be grass, this is my signature. Oh, that's, yeah, that, no, we could definitely work with you. I mean, yeah? you're gonna put a lot of actors out of work, though. So what do you do as a director? It's about helping actors sort of unlock sort of emotional beats in a scene. Unlike uh, film and television uh, where there are cameras, we basically try to tell the actors where the camera's gonna be in the volume. And I think that the other part about working in video games is we like movement. So CG mm -hmm. likes movement. As we, everything likes to move because it brings our characters to life. So my job is to bring CG to life. How long does it take to do that? Months. So, so you can't do it in a few days? Oh no, it's, it's, uh, we like to prepare about three, four months before we're shooting. Uh, breaking down the script, doing the pictures, working with the actors, finding the voice. It, it's, it's quite a process. So there's so much more to directing than just telling your friends what to do and sitting in a chair and wearing a scarf. Yeah, there's a lot more to directing than that. That sounds like a pretty crazy set you're on. Yeah, it's, it's not a set, it's the garage. I have to call my agent. Thank you very much, Dave. Okay, good to see you, Julia. Good luck. Okay, first team, back in, please. Jesse, did you know that in real shoots, directors don't just make everything up on the spot? Yeah, it's actually pre-written and everything. Hey guys, here we're playing Johann Sebastian Jaws as part of Sports Friends, and the object of this game is to keep your controller as steady as possible while you try to knock the other person's uh, around to make it move. So we have to joust? See, oh, I won that because no. I have steadiness. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is take it up a notch. First one, to run over the couch, and back, come back, touch, touch the, the table. table, wins. You started early. I won! No, no, but you No, but I made it, it before! No, no, but I made it and I actually got it! No, but I hit it before. <laughs> so how'd it go after I left? As your agent, it was great. I really took him to task. That's good. As your co-star, was a bit tough. Are we different? We're too much the same. You tell me. No, you tell me. Well, uh, hopefully the film still goes well. I told him he could use the footage of me that he already has. And cut! 
So was that the movie or was that the making of? This is the movie. The part where you come back begging for your job, that is the making of. Wait, but you begged me to come back. And scene. OK, everybody, that's a wrap. I'd just like to thank the crew, the director, the producer, the writer, and, of course, the cast. Jesse, Julia, great job, you know? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot to cast a role. Quick, does anybody know Tom Hanks? No. Well, yeah, but I had a falling out with him many years ago. It would be super awkward if I called. I know. Oh, hi, Ian. Hey, listen, I got a big favor to ask you. I'm looking for a real Colin Mockery type for my movie. I'm not really a Colin Mockery type. I'm Colin Mockery. I know you'll have to do. So do you mind doing a quick scene? I'm a little busy right now. It's an easy part. All you have to do is yell a lot. Look, I'm not interested. Oh, look, is that a spider behind you? Spider! What? What is that? Where is the guy? Exactly. Perfect. Just like that, buddy. Oh, you big time. Wait, wait, we haven't discussed my fee. Yeah. Hark, what lies beyond the chasm? Or lo, what approaches in the distance? Is it the tyranny of the ball that divides us? Or are we merely out of sync? Are we different? Or are we the same? Mm -hmm. Tell me. You tell me. What? 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 OK, Ian, this is ridiculous. Spider! Why? Yep. That made no sense. Wasn't even in 3D. Hey, 3D's expensive. Besides, the glasses, they're all I could afford. Bravo! <laughs> Bravo, Hollywood! You just got Ian. <laughs>